is an operative. <laughs> Does he have a built-in voice filter to keep him from cussing? Oh, uh, Magos, you got a bit of a what I think or what I hope is a rat infestation, not a tyranid infestation. Alrighty, guys, welcome back to Warhammer 40k Space Marines 2 Part 3, where today we're going to be picking up where we left off last time. We had just gotten back to the Battle Barge, and that there is a damn war casket. Oh my. I don't know what class uh, or model this one is, but that is definitely a war casket. And what that is, is a. When a space marine is critically injured in battle, kind of like how Titus was at the very beginning of the game, I guess that would have been the other option for him, is that they put him into a war casket, and, but that there is like the extremely highest of honors, like the most highest noble, like you can't let this space marine die. That's what happens to them. They get turned into those if they ever get critically injured. Titus, he just got upgraded to a Primaris. Which, I guess, that is the other option, but I'm betting that, yeah. War Casket is the other one. I know that for a fact. I've read through those battle reports more than a hundred times. A masterful defense. My duty kept me busy elsewhere. You have an unusual service record. That is my good fortune. Yep. He's fortunate. I want to scout recon of that position. Captain, get over here. Right here, boys. Captain, I have the Mechanicus on Vox. They can wait. This is Nozick Beta 12, a Mechanicus Archmagos. He should have been aboard this ship an hour ago, but he refuses to leave Kodaku without some data from his lab. He's currently in this Imperial Guard base. His facility is here. The enemy is closing in. That base will be overrun imminently. Nozick is a high value asset. Get that data and get him out. Okay. The mining facility. If we rupture the staging tanks, direct the flow into the valley, we can ignite the fields around the base. Boil them in Prometheum. I'll give you command of a small team to hit the staging tanks. Three men. That's all I can spare. Brief them immediately. Yes, Captain. Okay, then. Retrieve Mechanicus data. We are Astartes. Titus Delirio, make ready to depart. Standing by. I guess that's the three Space Marines he said he could spare. Well, well. Lieutenant Titus. We are told you have need of us, brother. My squad must recover data from a Mechanicus research facility in Sector 41A. A large enemy swarm threatens to overrun both that facility and an Imperial Guard base to its east. You will sabotage a Prometheum refinery to delay their advance. We will not fail you, Lieutenant. Let us burn the Xenos filth. Time is short. I will brief you on descent. Brother, Magos Galio wishes to see you in the armory. Noted. Okay, so we get to go into the armory hall. I did technically go in here once already. Uh, I am already wearing the DLC skin. I think I'm just going to take it off. It doesn't appear in the cutscenes. You requested my presence. How are you acclimating to your new status? I have no complaints. Intriguing. Predictions would determine a point nine probability that you would. I have pressing duties, Magos. Very well. Engage the armory terminal. I will see that you are suitably equipped for your mission. Indicate your desired war gear. And the this is my desired war gear. It's already set up. Though much has changed since we last met. All this will remain familiar to you. The Omnisire blessed up. The war gear selection seems incomplete. This armory is comprehensive, but available options are those recommended for the current mission. Very well. My thanks, Magos. Galeon nice. will suffice. We know each other well enough for that. 
Yeah, so you have like a limited selection for, for the missions, I guess. So now we gotta go talk to the chaplain. Was it? Yeah, no, that's a big thing. I was just remembering that. He said, remember the words of our Primarch. Usually with the Ultramarines, that means just remember what the book of the, was it the Codex Astartes? Or whatever it says. And yeah, there's some Space Marines that just follow it too far to the code. That's why Titus got reported to the cops last time. Um, but I've already flipped a coin for this part about going and doing the... That it was it interaction this inferno mission. Um, that is a multiplayer online mission, and sadly, none of my friends pre-ordered the game, or none of them are on right now that did pre-order it. So we are not going to be doing any of the online stuff. We're just going to continue trying to complete the campaign, and I'm pretty sure all I have to do is just walk into this zone, and it's going to take me into the next campaign mission. So I shouldn't have to worry about that side mission. But technically what that side mission is, is that there's two things happening right now. So as we're going to get this research, that other team of Space Marines, the ones from the multiplayer mission, they're going to distract the Tyranids and uh, hold them off while we go and get this. And again, this is just so much like the Dark Tides loading screen. It is too similar. You can't tell me otherwise. Ooh! Yep. That's definitely an Arch Magos. Magos, it is imperative you evacuate immediately. Detroit will not leave without the data. Relocate to my facility. I will instruct over Vox. Make ready to leave. This will not take long. Does he have Major, a plasma have a rifle arm? On a theoretical that should buy you some time. My lord, I've lost three squads trying to reach that lab. We think something's out there. Noted. Something's out there? The okay. Protects. And yes, he does have like a plasma pistol arm or plasma rifle arm there. The little robot arm on his back. Okay, unfortunately though. Ooh, can I go? We will box when we have an update. Never get this planet stench out of our armor. Compared to your usual aura, it is an improvement, brother. Deeply amusing. Also, I swapped to a plasma pistol. Then we got this one. Um, I feel like there's something back there, and I'm gonna go check it out. It's one of those gut feelings that, like, hey, there's something hidden. We are being hunted. Uh maybe I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, you know what? Give me the bolt Let's rifle with the grenade work. launcher. Um, I didn't see that. I guess I don't know what the jump scare was then. A fine gift from the forge. I already had one of those. 
Okay. Um. Cordanus. Septimus. Damn it. Oh, this is the work of a lictor. Shit. Sergeant Gadriel to resilient. Two of our brothers have fallen in battle. Send an apothecary. Received. We shall honor them, brother Sergeant. Give me the crack grenades. Um. Looks like another. Oh, there's a, there's a marine back here. Not any loot though. Okay. Um. Let's just keep advancing forward. I can't see a thing, but we're still kicking butt. There we go. Oh, he's running over here to do the execution. I was like, why is he doing an execution? Oh, I hit the wrong button. There we go. We still got this, though. Then we shall take it. Which opening? I don't know what opening he's talking about, but we do got this. Got this. They will not get past this. Um, I'm a little lost. I feel like. I feel like he was talking about this opening. Nope. Is there a way? It's better. I just used my stem and I didn't want to because I was checking buttons. Damn. Very may. Good. may as well. May as well use the Bolta. Or not the Bolta, Melta. I don't know what opening he was talking about. Oh, it's this one. I opened my eyeballs and I noticed it. Oh, is that a Space Marine drop pod? Oh, we got more fallen brothers. A boon that thrums with promise. I already got a chain sword. I'm surprised that... I just guess he didn't survive the crash. Or maybe something got him. Clear of its whip. 
I hit the A button. He just came up to steal it, damn it. Oh, I hit my mic on accident there. I went to go scratch my face while he was doing the kill. Okay, is this more grenades? Yes! over here that's interesting there's a bridge oh this this melta is awesome it is quite literally melting them okay that's just gonna drop me back down there where I came from so, what I need is to grab this ammo, and then we can just head around. Gonna use the plasma pistol for a little bit. Have it. Is this one of the... Oh! Careful not to overheat it. Data plate. Bolt sniper rifle. Okay, so this thing's called a rhino. Took his chainsword and walked out of the camp. A challenge of all there was. Why the thing obliged? Well, only the hive mind could answer that. We heard them fight for hours. Howls, scratches, war cries. Sergeant came back, missing an arm, covered in gore, dragging the thing's severed head. Ordered the camp abandoned. Even though the Xenos scout was dead. Orders is orders, he said. Okay. Kinda lost. We definitely came through here already. There's already carnage. Feel like it's gotta be this way, right? Or no. No, it's not. I gotta figure out where I'm going. That was a grenade I didn't want to throw. Damn it. I guess we can go this way over the bridge. I feel like this might be it. Maybe this is a different drop pod and I just thought it was a, the same one. Yeah, no, this is definitely... Oh, this is definitely a different drop pod. Okay. Uh, just give me the frags at this point. Snipers, watch your sidelines. We gotta get up quick. Another one 
that one <laughs> popped. Damn. This melt is awesome. Is this more health? Okay, looks like you keep on heading down that way. We're good without the combat knight. This chainsaw sword is killing it. This looks like a boulder I gotta lift. Is it gonna look like the God of War? No. Yes. <laughs> no, it's different. I thought he was gonna lift it and chew him under, but it's not. There's another... I did not mean to hit that. I bumped that on my desk. Yeah, symbol down here, boys. Can't pick up any more ammo. Is there a health? Your plasma pistol. Interact. You know what? There's probably more stuff to look around at out there, and I just didn't. I see bullets. Small arms fire. It sounds close. Some Cadians. Assist them. Snipers down. What was that? Oh, it's... Oh, that was a bad... All those Cadians are dead. I'm not joking. They got overwhelmed immediately. I should have used the Melta. Oh, that's bad. So I can only hold two stems at a time. through it. This is actually starting to work. Got this. One less rebel. Okay. Cadians did themselves proud. They died honorably. Come. They they legit got swarmed in under five seconds, I swear. Like, as soon as I just was like, you know, let's go melee. By what evidence? That. Something is off. Watch your backs. Oh, what are they called? They're like night something. Weapon night stalkers ready. or whatever. Come and taste death, vermin. Yeah, no, this is gearing me up. I have them on the... If you guys have ever played, like, the Warhammer, like, phone game where you can, like, collect the guys. I have all the Tyranids on them. Actually, I have only three of them. But uh, there's one of them that's literally... It's like night something. Night stalker is what I feel like it's called. And they're, like, supposed to take out high-value targets on planets. Weaken them before the entire, you know, fleet arrives. I feel like that's what this thing is. It's cloaked. 
Something ain't right. It's on the ground. Whoa, what is this? Yes, that looks familiar. What is it called? Lictor. I'm hitting them. Where's that fell pest? There we go. That was some damage. That wasn't one I can block. Okay, Titus, come on, man. Oh, why does it, right as I look away. Why am I so blind? I can't heal. I'm out. I it's getting it's targeting me. Stay with me, brother. I am down. Uh Gabriel help. It's gonna target Gabriel now, and he was the one that's targeting to revive me. Oh, come on. See that thing is just annoying. Come on, give me overshield. Alright, actually, let's get rid of this guy. He has the gun. Execute this thing. It has pissed me off. I don't know why I called that. I thought this thing was a Night Stalker. It's a Lictor. But I have it on that uh, Warhammer Tactics. That's what the game's called. Um, after it nearly dealt with us. Where's my Melta gun? I didn't realize that's what I dropped. I thought, yeah. I hear something. I used both of my stems for that fight. Munition secured. The Lictor is a capable foe. A welcome challenge. 
No, it's not, dude. Shut up. That thing is not welcomed. It's welcome to lick my boot. Ooh, helmet. Oculus Bolter. Something tells me that there was a Marine out here. He lost his helmet. <laughs> okay. Let us hope Nozick's research remains intact. Archmagos, we have arrived. At last, move to the lower levels. If lifts are functioning, root equals to the hospital. If. I think we're good. Why does this feel like we're going to get ambushed? Yep, as I said it. kind of block any attack to get those. It doesn't have to be the blue ones, apparently. Okay. <laughs> Does he have a built-in voice filter to keep him from cussing? Oh! Uh, Magos, you got a bit of a... What I think, or what I hope is a rat infestation, not a tyranid infestation. Oh, those are everywhere. Alrighty, guys, I'm on my way. I was just checking. Just looking around. Rally at the elevator. Verify your signature is detected in lift one. Why is the How disappointingly slow progress for Anastasis. Spare me the insults, Magos. Statement error. Insults. I engage in pure analysis. I have had more pleasant conversations with orcs. No, yeah. Yeah. Tech priests are not pleasant to talk with. They're not even. I I don't even think they're technically human anymore. They're more machine. They're like rotting corpses kept alive and thinking or not even alive just thinking by machines. Sometimes they are just rotting away. I'm pretty sure there's one tech priest where he's just so old now, he's quite literally only a machine, and he's also set up a network where there's hundreds of him across the galaxy at all times, which I find very impressive. He's also my favorite tech priest because he doesn't think like normal tech priests. He's more for let's uh, reinvent and rebuild. Everyone's like, no, we just repair. He's like, actually like, oh, let's break down and redesign so that way we can recreate, you know? Uh, the rest of the tech priests are like, no. I can't remember his name right now. If Crafter was here, the guy I do forest with, my buddy, um, he would tell you, like, by heart. Oh. Gadriel to resilient. Brother Decius has fallen. Received. Location marked for apothecary. Our brother's sacrifice will be remembered. <sighs> We're losing a lot of ultramarines to the Tyranids. them in holy fire sorry wrong game that's uh i think that's warhammer inquisitor i don't own that one i've always wanted to play it though it looked cool just never got to it that's another one where you're uh you're a space marine inquisitor i guess pyro blaster Restoking. ammo okay where am i supposed to be going here stems Anything else? Frags? Give me the frags. Uh, everything's full. Okay. 
There must be thousands. That door looks like our exit. Clear a path through those vermin. Is that one of our brothers? I'm dying just because there's, there's just so many. The swarms. I wasted all my ammo. I'm a little disoriented by the synaptic shock. No, I'm just a little disoriented by the fact that those things almost ate me. We're gonna use this just because we're so close to going down again. I honestly hate this gun. But I feel like you have to have it for this port portion of the game. What is that? I could have shot that if I had my gun ready. Damn. These abominations are busy with something. They gather biomass. Humans. Dissolved and collected later. By feeding tubes lowered from orbit. The sooner we exterminate these horrors, the better. That hurt. Munition secured. Clearing the way. That definitely cleared the way. Okay. So he did that during an animation and it still counted. Chiron, what is our heading? We need to cross this room. 
I can't even dodge the half of these. here now. Okay. Flip the switch. I'm really low on health and I don't like it. I went from having two stems and like almost full health to we fight that Lictor and now it's like it's been an uphill battle ever since then. I feel like the crack grenades are going to come in handy. Okay, so those guys all just dip. Okay. It's literally the Psyker. Okay. There we go. I knew dealing with the Psyker would at least deal with those little guys. Because, you know, they said the Psychic Purge or whatever. So the operation just got completed. The side mission. Oh! Very good. Oh, I ran out right. I'm hurting. Titus is hurting. There's definitely something back here. A boon with drums with promise. Guardian relic.
I really wish I could. I feel like if I, as soon as it gives me another weapon. Oh, wait, I already did. I feel like next time it, I'm going to need that next room. One of those pyro guns. It's probably not going to have one. I'm starting to ramble. Some time since I brought death from above. The day is not yet done, brother. No, it is not. I got a feeling that's hinting at we're going to be getting jump packs here soon. Arch Magos, we have reached the transmitter. Analysis. Here we go. Transmitter at zero state of charge. Move to generators. Are you serious? Just as soon as I'm not shooting. Will that interfere with operation? Begin your work. Astonishing connection. Turn it incoming. Oh, there's two of these big guys now. Special tactics ready. Toxins assail. Generator equal to full state charge. I I'm hitting the buttons. And the response time is ridiculous. And also those boons are like self-revives. Okay, those two are still back there. Why did these guys all of a sudden clear out? They are regathering themselves. I killed. I hit that. Does it not work with the Melta? They're both down. Oh no, it was just one of them got close. I'm hitting the dodge button. It's the psychers.
Damn, this is insane. I literally can't move. What? Is this is insane. Why? Oh, perfect. When the psychers show up, I need to hit them with the crack grenades. Hopefully this will get rid of some of these swarms for a second. Just fire the damn gun, please. Everything just leave me alone for like five seconds. I was doing the execution. Please just get rid of these things. Thank you. I hate, hate those little swarming things. Oh my God. Is this, please be like, health and grenades and loading ammunition loading up stabilizing vitals oh i hate that the melta sucks not this the the melta's good this thing whatever it was it sucks all right that's the only way i have to put it munition secured Am I supposed to go somewhere specific? I'm kind of lost. Uh, I feel like I got to go back here. Up to this control room. Transmitting, buddy. Awesome. Major Sarkana, please escort Nozick to the Thunderhawk and get him off world. Yes, my lord. With pleasure. I shall be glad to be rid of these trivial duties. As I will be glad to cease the flapping of this repugnant flesh voice. Time to go. Elevator goes to the rooftop. Okay, now that they're all done talking, I'm gonna get a quick screenshot. Alrighty, now we're good to go. Move, boys, move! We got the screenshot. 
We're ready to roll. Watch this not be the end of the mission. I probably still have like one boss fight left. I feel like that's why it hasn't ended yet. chamber below. Jump packs. Sir. The guardsmen. With respect, my lord. We're Canadians. We can take care of ourselves. That's what I like to hear. Cadians know how to handle themselves. I feel like this is the end of the mission. The next one's going to be a second mission, technically. The Tyranids will swarm the crash site. If Nozick is... Okay, what we're going to do is because we are at 50 minutes, we are going to count this. No, no, no. we're going to go. I feel like this is the final bit, so we're going to we're going to do this. Death waits for all of us. What was it to slam down? Okay. That didn't work and I fell all the way down. Yep, there it is. They will not get past this. Repositioning. Oh, it handles almost exactly like the jump pack from the first game. Just a little bit more different. Personal log, cycle 42. We leave this in hospital as uh, soon, I am told. Xenos first. They are better against this. Full advantage of the jump pack. Oh, I don't have that. Okay. I didn't have a jump charge.
what is going on? Controls work. It's like quite literally out of nowhere, my controls just stop working for a second sometimes. I don't know if it's like I'm a stagger effect that they have built into the game. I keep on shooting things with the melt gun and I don't want to be doing that. Fresh We're going to keep on treating these as one mission until we get back to the ship. So I'm going to actually just post these mission by mission. More so sometimes if these run on for a long time, I'm sorry. Vile. The crash site is on the other side of that. Biomass. Too high to jump. We have melt charges left in it. Place them strategically. Weak points only. The Xenos protect their hive. Stop at nothing. We must reach the crash site. <laughs> Those crack grenades? Fuck yeah. Oh, do not hit them. Damn. I was dodging and I was stuck in an animation. That's what keeps happening is that they have these long animations sometimes for some of the swings. And when you're trying to dodge, it won't cut, it won't cancel out the animation. I, I'm hitting the button to block, and it's not blocking anyone's attacks. That was the first block it did this entire time, I'm pretty sure. Come on, guys. Gabriel, get me. I got one of the... Your head. I have you. What are these called? Psychic things? Xenothropes? I do not like them. Zoanthrope. My armor is breached at multiple points. Melt a charge in position. That was, that's just execution after execution there. 
damn. Okay. What was that? I see where I'm... where it wants me to go, not supposed to go. That's one way to deal with him. I don't want the melt the gun anymore because it is not working great. I think I'm stuck with it for a little bit. Dang it. don't want a stalker rifle. Assemble up, boys. With pleasure. Let's watch this. Brother, no! Brothers, there's two of them. Um. Something's not right there. <gasps> Something is not right here. Something's in there. There are thousand suns. We already know this from the trailers, but like even the paintings. What is that? Brother, I'm fine. It must be the Rubicon surgery. When? Two days. They literally looked at him. Are you serious? Like, are you serious? You only had the surgery two days ago? They're burning the body? That's what it is! Alright, so Titus is a little bit psychic. So he gets like, he can feel like the psychic waves coming off of things. And it gives him headaches. Like, that's what it was, like, in the last game. Like, that's how he could, like, tell that they were close to chaos or anything. He Like, he was immune to the chaos because of it. But, like, it hurts him in, like, return. 
It was immune to the powers of the chaos, powers of the warp, sorry. Let's get that straight. But I'm pretty sure that's going to be it for this episode. So I'm going to go see if Aberration is ready to go. If not, oh well. So I will see you guys here in next episode. So we'll watch this cutscene. Back in battle so soon after such grievous surgery. Sergeant Ventia had spoke of a Death Watch team that deployed a virus. Lieutenant. Brother, are you recovered? I am. The apothecary should run a diagnostic. I do not have the need nor the time for such a process. Magos Gallio also expressed his concern. Consider his counsel, if not ours. If there is any risk of recurrence, it puts the whole squad in jeopardy. It can wait. I must speak with Captain Akaran. As you command. Okay. So we're done with that part. So if you guys have found yourself at any point today enjoying this episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also, remember to ring the notification bell so that you guys can be notified upon me posting new videos. And yeah, this is Gunjai Mori signing out. Peace. <laughs>